In this chapter, we've caused autoantibody damage to the skin, glands, joints, even the heart itself. How about those muscles? In this sketch, we're going to introduce two interesting, related conditions. The inflammatory myopathies. And by that I mean a group of autoimmune-mediated disorders that result in destruction of muscle tissue, among other features. The most common of these disorders include polymyositis and dermatomyositis. Damaged muscles, inflammation, road rash? Sounds like motocross to me. While the pathogenic processes that underlie each of the inflammatory myopathies appears to be distinct, polymyositis and dermatomyositis share a number of common clinical features. Let's kick off this sketch with a discussion of polymyositis and then complete the picture with dermatomyositis. Polymyositis is an autoimmune-mediated inflammatory myopathy with an unknown trigger. Think poly, many, and myositis, inflamed muscles, as in this abundant supply of freshly grilled meat. As with most other autoimmune diseases, the incidence is higher in women, with a ratio of 2 to 1. So we've made all the grill masters here women. Also unlike many of the other autoimmune diseases we've talked about, neither environmental factors nor infectious agents have known roles in polymyositis or the inflammatory myopathies as a whole. So mysterious. What we do know about polymyositis is it's an inappropriate, though what autoimmune disease isn't inappropriate, cell-mediated immune response against myocytes. The hypothesized pathogenesis of polymyositis begins with the muscle cell. The first step of the mechanism may involve increased expression of major histocompatibility complex class 1 antigens on the membrane of myocytes, also called the sarcolemma. For MHC, think mesquite hickory chicken. The receptors collecting on the sarcolemma are like the little MHC flags dotting the surface of the meat samples. Remember this is MHC1, so one sample per person. Increased expression of MHC1 leads to presentation of autoantigens to CD8 cytotoxic T cells that subsequently initiate myofiber destruction. Represented here by the Grillmaster's logo, a white cytotoxic T cell knight wielding a fried chicken leg. On histology, a muscle biopsy in polymyositis will show inflammation, hence the fire, and myocyte necrosis, represented by the Grillmaster's badass skull apron, and regeneration and fibrosis of muscle fibers. Notice how she regenerates the chicken legs by adding fresh legs to the grill. She's added some fibrotic-looking vegetables, too. An endomysial infiltrate containing macrophages and CD8 